he did not want. Um, he said what he said, and he and he did what he did, and um, he's very vocal about it. Uh, and 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 the people went out there to, to do what they needed to do to make it happen so that he could win. And that and and the same thing like with Barack Obama, the same yes. thing. He said what he said. He did what he did. And whether or not people like what he did or whatever, I mean, you know, he made it happen. Mm-hmm. So you know, so again, you know, every every individual leadership is based on the fact that whatever they they decide and and want to go gung ho and what they want to do, and they go they move it forward, and the, the people listen, and 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 that's it. And the, the vote is casted. That's so right. uh, hopefully, uh, Sanders or Biden or whoever that is going to run as a Democratic uh, uh, front runner is going to be the one to see what they can do in, uh, in regards to seeing whether or not they're going to be able to beat Trump. Mm-hmm. Because Trump is a, he's really a, to me, my personal opinion is that Trump's going to be a hardball to beat. Mm-hmm. Well, the main purpose, everybody, all the candidates in the Democratic Party was saying their main goal is to beat Trump, you know? to get him out of the office, right? To get out of office and then defeat him and then take uh, the lead for the Democratic Party. Now, for the final segment on public affairs, we are with Marisa Sierto here, a journalist and political analyst, at the same time a community volunteer all the time, community activist. Uh, Tell us about, well, let's try and see the future. Uh, How do you see the elections November 2020? If it's uh, former Vice President Biden against uh, President Trump, how do you see this? You know, if if it's going to be Biden and it's going to be Trump, um, Biden's just going to smile whenever Trump probably says something. (laughs) <laughs> you know, with a little bit of a smearing look. And, um, and Trump's just going to continue to keep tweeting away. <laughs> that's the way I see it. And if he can't beat a tweet and he's just smearing away, it's not going to happen. <laughs> he's going to have to be more vocal, just like Trump. He's going to have to be able to, you know, to get up and say, hey, I, you know, this this is the way it should happen. And if he can't do that, then I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's going to be back to Trump. So if it's uh, Bernie Sanders? Uh, with Bernie Sanders, I think he's going to try to do a lot of coalition with the youth and, and, and so forth. And hopefully with the youth, they can appeal to their parents or their whoever, whoever's around them and say, hey, you know, he's the one. And he's the one. And it's just a matter of, you know, maybe the, uh, the family will have a soft heart. And they'll say, okay, okay, we get it. We get it. We'll get Sanders in. <laughs> So, you know, so it's just a matter of death, you know, I mean, it's, it, it, you know, like, again, standards, you know, maybe, again, a, a lot of, a, the, of course, the GOP party is not going to want standards more than anything because of the fact that he's uh, so, so off the, off the chart of the, of the, uh, of the, the GOP party. But uh, again, if, 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 uh, if the, if the youth get involved, hopefully they can do the same coalition of what they did with Barack Obama. And, and but the only thing is the difference between him and Barack Obama is Barack, of course, is, is more youthful and, and more energetic. And, um, and he, you know, he, he does bring the message across very, very cleanly. And, um, and, and again, he does what he does. And with Sanders, he's going to have to do the same thing. And, and uh, I don't know, again, if he has the stamina to do it. Um, and, and hopefully he does. But if he doesn't, then, you know, then, then, um, I don't know at that end. I and mean, hopefully the youth will, will make a move, you know, make it move forward for him and his message. Do you, do you see that the Democratic Party is really highly energized because they're calling out for people to come out and vote uh, November 2020? And they say that it will be impressive and this will be the time to really, you know, like take over the administration. How do you see this? More than 2016. You know, if, if I... If my personal opinion is that if, if Bloomberg probably would have took it out, it would have been really, really nice uh, because of the fact that I think that with a $65 billion man compared to, which is, uh, I don't know how much uh, uh, Trump has at the moment, uh, uh, possibly $3 billion or so, I mean, that's, that's going to be like a, like a power play there. But uh, now you've got, you've got the... Uh, 
the other five, which could be Biden or uh, who's, uh, the other one was Sanders. And uh, so they, they don't have as much wealth as uh, Trump does and, you know, and so forth. So uh, it's going to be a whole different kind of a medium type uh, ball, ballpark playing. And again, you know, wit for wit, I mean, you know, Trump has the wit, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure they, they should know that he's corporate. He's a corporate guy. So, you know, he knows what to do uh, as far as, you know, being able to be in the business world, uh, being able to maneuver it, things that, you know, that they their, their capability is, uh, is way beyond. They're more into, you know, the political measure, you know, and so forth. So it's not, it's, it, so they, it's, a, it's a whole different league. So if they had like some, something like Bloomberg, you know, he would have been able to take it to the next level. If they if they did have a vice presidential candidate, they need to have somebody in that kind of league because um, and, and somebody that's a little bit more feisty. And if they don't have somebody as feisty, I, I don't know uh, how they're going to be able to pull it off. Mm-hmm. Of course, Bloomberg has promised to endorse, uh, well, he has endorsed the Biden. At the same time, he said he promises to really do everything possible to get rid of this administration and to take over uh, Trump and uh, in terms of uh, the presidential candidate. At the same time, you mentioned a little bit about vice presidential candidate. Now, in the minds of the people, who do you think will be good vice president for the Democratic Party? You know, that's a good question because, again, it depends on who's going to be uh, the uh, the, pres- uh, the uh, actual presidential candidate for the Democratic Party. So on, on that end, um, it would depend on who the who who's going to be like. For example, if it's Biden, uh, it probably if it, it, it would be uh, if it was me, if I if I was Biden, um, I may want to choose uh, a fe- a female. And uh, and somebody of uh, of a non white uh, community, and and then and, and it's only to appeal to more of the ethnic voters, and also to support our ethnic community. And that's something that you know, is, to me, my personal opinion, excuse me, is very um, should be something worthy, so that they can help the community and the, and so forth, and not just because they're ethnic. But because they they have more of a cultural understanding of it, and the same thing with um, Bernie Sanders, he needs to have more of a youthful, um, uh, youthful person that's actually going to go out there and um, and be there for for uh, for him to be like the next one in line, which is somebody that would be able to pull it off. Now, as far as who who would it be? Wow, that's. That is um, something to, to think about. Um, in um, in the state of California, uh, it, there, we have like Gavin Newsom, um, who's who's here, and that would you know I mean I think that he would be appealing to the voters. Um, uh, if for me, you know, I mean, if, if it was my choice, I kept down to San Diego. Maybe you know, our, our our future mayor here for San Diego, which is Todd Gloria, mm-hmm. you know, could you know even maybe be able to pull it off. I mean, because he's like for a different ethnicity. He's like one fourth Filipino, one fourth Puerto Rican, one fourth Dutch, and one fourth uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Caucasian or, or, or you know <laughs> other ethnicity and so forth. So he's got all these ethnic ethnic background, and then that kind of gives him a level of play. So again, like I said, somebody youthful that's out there that could really you know bring forward and move the uh, the Democratic Party forward more innovative way, just like how um, like how basically how Sanders had wanted to do it in the first place. But he got but he has to uh, he has to walk the talk, meaning that if he really wants to, to, to show the community that this is what he wants to do, he also has to make it um, happen mm-hmm. through his, um, his third collection process. Mm-hmm.